I've been testing T-Mobile 5G home internet for a year and a half, sharing my review of the service all along the way. But recently, I was this close to canceling. Instead, I called T-Mobile's customer support, they sent me a new Wi-Fi gateway, and now I've got a lot more to share. I've put together everything I've learned about T-Mobile home internet into this one video. Let's get started. Number one, competitive monthly pricing. Price is the number one reason why I considered T-Mobile home internet in the first place. And maybe that's why you're here too. The price $50 a month with auto pay at recording time. And recently I read this article. It says a price increase for new customers may be on the horizon. But even if that does happen, I would expect T-Mobile's pricing to remain competitive. The current rate, well, it's cheaper than fiber and it's cheaper than cable in most areas. Number two, T-Mobile phone customers get the best deal. You do not need a T-Mobile phone plan to sign up for the internet service. I don't have one, but customers who do bundle wireless phone and internet get a discount. It's a pretty good one too. Some people are paying only $30 a month for the internet plan. Number three, price lock guarantee. T-Mobile Home Internet includes a price lock guarantee. Well, what's that? Unlike many of its competitors, your rate will not go up after the first year with T-Mobile. I paid $50 a month in 2022, the same price in all of 2023, and now in 2024. That's the price lock. Number four, auto pay discount limitations. T-Mobile's auto pay discount for home internet service is $5 a month. But to get that savings, you cannot pay with a credit card anymore. This is a change and it happened in 2023. Your payment method must now be either a bank account or a debit card to get those auto pay savings. There's no annual contract with T-Mobile Home Internet. You pay for one month at a time and you can cancel at any time. That's number five today. And number six is T-Mobile's 15 day test drive. I really like this because it allows you to try out T-Mobile Home Internet alongside your current internet provider. If T-Mobile does not work out, just cancel the service within 15 days and you'll get a full refund. My tip, save the box the equipment came in. That'll make the return process easier. More now about that equipment. Number seven, equipment is included. Once you sign up for T-Mobile Home Internet, you'll get a Wi-Fi gateway in the mail and it arrives pretty quickly. A Wi-Fi gateway is simply a router and modem in a single unit. Don't worry though, this is not an add-on. You pay for the equipment as part of the regular plan price. Know this, if you ever decide to cancel service, you will need to return the equipment. Otherwise, T-Mobile is gonna charge you and it could be up to $370. Number eight, easy self-installation. No technician required here. Setting up service, it's as easy as plugging in the gateway and following a few steps from the T-Mobile home internet app. I will say based on my personal testing, the location of the gateway, it makes a huge difference. The T-Mobile Home Internet app is gonna recommend placing the Wi-Fi gateway by a window or on an upper floor. Take a look here by a window, I'm getting a very good connection. You see it from the screen on the gateway. But when I move the gateway to a different room of my house and away from a window, the connection drops to good. The app will guide you through the setup. I've also created my own step-by-step -step guide Link to that down below. We're up to number nine, and besides the pricing, another main benefit of T-Mobile Home Internet is that you don't have a data cap. This plan, it includes unlimited data, but data speeds can be inconsistent. That's number 10, and I wanna share my experience with you in more detail. I'll start with this list of problems I've had with T-Mobile Home Internet. Slower speeds at night, occasional lag with gaming, slower upload speeds, and temporarily losing my service. T-Mobile Home Internet uses T-Mobile's 5G and 4G LTE networks, and that's to provide internet service to your entire home. But when T-Mobile's network is busy, home internet customers will experience slower data speeds. And the reason, T-Mobile gives top priority to its postpaid wireless customers, not home internet. This is one drawback of T-Mobile Home Internet that cable internet providers like Xfinity have pointed out repeatedly. But of course, Xfinity has its own agenda. Check out these speeds. This is what T-Mobile says you can expect with home internet. Download speeds between 72 and 245 megabits per second, upload between 15 and 31, and latency or ping between 19 and 37 milliseconds. Now, when I've conducted speed tests of T-Mobile home internet, I am usually within the advertised ranges. 
Not always. Here I'm showing you a speed test I ran today, more than 300 megabits per second download. When I'm getting these speeds, a handful of devices can be connected to the network and in use at the same time, the performance is excellent. Working from home, gaming, streaming TV, using smart home devices, I've done it all. But when T-Mobile's network is congested, it is definitely noticeable. Speed tests will dip to the lower end of the advertised ranges, sometimes below. This is something T-Mobile acknowledges. On its website, it says 25% of customers see speeds below the ranges, another 25% above them. My biggest frustration with T-Mobile Home Internet has been losing my connection altogether. Now this does not happen a lot, but when it does, it's really inconvenient. When I called T-Mobile customer support recently, ready to cancel, they offered to send me a new Wi-Fi gateway. I took them up on that offer. My old gateway and the new gateway look the same from the outside, but T-Mobile says there are differences with the internal components, and that should help minimize my connectivity issues. Stay tuned, I'll keep you posted. Number 11 is compatibility issues, and I'm digging into the fine print for the next few points that I want to make. Let's start with live TV streaming services. T-Mobile says live TV services that rely on IP address for specific location data just aren't compatible. I've tested the major live TV services and this appears to mostly be a problem with Hulu Live TV and Sling TV. And I'd say Hulu Live more than Sling. YouTube TV, my favorite live TV service, is compatible with T-Mobile Home Internet, and so are these other live TV services. They've all confirmed to me that they work with the service. To be clear, this is not a widespread issue. Streaming most live TV services, as well as on-demand and free services, should not be a problem. And overall, I've had a great experience streaming with T-Mobile Home Internet. Number 12, device connection charge. More fine print here. In late 2022, T-Mobile started charging a $35 device connection fee to new home internet customers. Now this was not a thing when I signed up, but I have reported on it, and some people have told me they got this fee waived. Still, I'd be prepared to pay it. Number 13, also be prepared for this, a credit check. When you sign up for T-Mobile Home Internet, you will have to undergo a credit check. And I assume this is because of the equipment they provide. If this is a problem for you, consider Metro by T-Mobile. It also sells T-Mobile Home Internet. With the Metro version, you don't have a credit check, but you will have to pay $50 upfront for the gateway, plus only Metro phone plan customers are eligible. I've got good news and bad news. The good news is that T-Mobile Home Internet is expanding. The bad news, not everyone who wants it is able to get it. Number 14, check availability on T-Mobile's website. I'll drop a link below where you can enter your address and see if you are eligible. If not, you can get added to a waitlist. I was on that waitlist at one time. If you're not eligible, you may be offered T-Mobile Home Internet Lite. Now, this is a plan with data caps, and I don't recommend it. It's really nothing like the unlimited plan that I've been talking about today. In the meantime, you may also want to consider Verizon 5G Home Internet. It's a similar service that uses 5G towers. I've tested that one as well alongside the T-Mobile service, and it's been a very solid service. Number 15, don't skip out on the perks. T-Mobile Home Internet is known to offer one-time sign-up perks. I got a $50 prepaid card. At recording time, it's up to $150. There are also free streaming offers available, fewer than in the past. T-Mobile Home Internet customers get access to T-Mobile Tuesdays. That's a popular rewards program currently being folded into a new T-Life app. For price-sensitive customers, T-Mobile Home Internet is definitely worth checking out. Now, fiber, it is usually best for speed and performance, but these 5G services are growing because of the affordable pricing, and many households are finding that the performance, it lives up to their expectations. I update home internet deals on my website. That's michaelsavesdeals.com. Thank you for watching today, and I hope to see you back here soon.